When it comes to managing weight, your eating plan is a powerful tool. Well-balanced meal plays a huge part in your weight loss. But figuring out what to eat and how much to eat feels like a hassle, right? But it doesn't have to be anymore. Hi, I'm Dr. Darshan, a gynecologist by profession. I've lost about 43 kgs over 8 months with the help of my nutritionist and fitness coach of Healthify Me, who have told me about the simple tips to make eating healthy and weight loss fun and manageable. No matter which eating pattern works best for you, but it can still be hard to know where to start when it comes to building healthy meals. That is where the food plate method helps you. If you're looking for a detailed diet plan and deeper nutritional insights, I highly recommend you go for a trained professional by your side in this journey. So what exactly is this food plate method? This plate method is a very simple technique where you divide your plate into equal proportions so that you would be able to approximately balance out all the food proportions adequately. To start out, you need a plate that is not too big. The size of a plate determines the size of a food proportions. If your dinner plates are large, try using a smaller salad plate or a dessert plate. Make sure you use the same cutleries regularly. Now that you have the right plate, let's start filling it. Imagine drawing two lines perpendicular to each other so that you divide your plate into four equal portions. First, fill half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables. Non-starchy vegetables are lower in carbohydrate, so they do not raise blood sugar very much. They are also high in vitamins, minerals and fiber, making them an important part of a healthy diet. These include broccoli or cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, celery, cucumber, eggplant, green leafy vegetables, mushrooms, okra, etc. Now that you have filled half of your plate, fill the next quarter of your plate with lean protein foods. Some examples, chicken, eggs, fish, cheese and cottage cheese, dairy products, plant-based sources of protein like beans, lentils, whole pulses are a great source of protein in your diet. Now it's time to fill the last quarter of your food plate. Let's fill it up with carbohydrates so that your food plate is totally balanced. Limiting your portion of carbohydrate foods to one quarter of your plate can help keep blood sugars from rising too high after meals. Also, carbs carry a high amount of calories, so if you're trying to lose weight, you can definitely cut down on the amount of carbs. But this doesn't mean you should completely cut them out, as carbs are a great source of energy. Foods that are higher in carbohydrate include grains, starchy vegetables like pumpkin, potato and yam, certain beans and legumes. Now that your food plate is almost complete, but yet, there is one small and important addition for your food plate, healthy fats. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, polyunsaturated fats are those healthy fats. Nuts, avocados, flax seeds, chia seeds are good sources of healthy fats. Another tip that I would like to share is, plan your meals well in advance. Also, you can feed the meals that you have planned into Healthify Me calorie tracker so that you get the insights of all the macronutrients. There you go. With this simple food plate technique, not only you get all the required nutrition in the right quantity, but also you'll have lots of fun preparing it according to your needs and taste. Remember, eating right doesn't always have to be boring. So guys, hope you liked the video. If you did try out the food plate technique, please mention in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.